Hey guys, V here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install a Ryzen CPU. Pretty much what, we're, what I'm going to show you is the proper way to install it, to apply thermal compound, and to install two different kinds of the air coolers. So the first one we got is the stock AMD from the 5, uh, Ryzen 5 3600. It's a small cooler and it has four screws. And then we have the bigger and better Ryzen cooler that comes with the Ryzen 7. However, I do have the Ryzen 5 3600 and it came with this cooler here, but I'm going to actually be using this one in this video. So follow along and let's get right into it. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is lift this little lever up and then grab get your CPU carefully and you're gonna want to find this little arrow on the CPU itself and then on the motherboard you can see there's a little arrow right there and we're going to match those two up so this just goes in just like that and it falls in and then you shut this and that's good to go. The next step would be if, you, if you're using the stock 3600 cooler, what you would do is take these four screws out here and then you would just bolt this directly like that. However, since we are using this, cool, this cooler here, you can see right at the bottom that it has these connectors right here and what these do they clip on directly to this AMD style mount and then on this side you see there's this little lever and you would just go ahead and tighten it down using that and that's how you would install that so let's go ahead and do this another note real quick as you can see on here there is pre-applied thermal paste I would personally recommend using your own thermal paste because that's not a lot by any means and uh, the way I would do it is to take your thermal paste and go directly onto the CPU itself. I do a decent size X and unfortunately I ran out but because I ran out I'm just going to leave the rest of this on here and when we squish it all together it's all gonna go everywhere and it's gonna be perfect. All right, so as you can see, this is the top of the board here and that way would be the bottom of the board. My CPU cooler, I would like the AMD symbol to be facing at, towards the top. So this lever is down. You would connect it first on this side here and you can see how that's connected now. I'm gonna go ahead and move you to the other side and then you would take this side. I'll try to have you guys see what I'm doing here and push it down. And the goal is to have it snap in just like that. And then back on this side where that lever is right here, you would then crank this just like that. So now it is tight, snug, and it's on there. It won't go anywhere. The next step would be to plug in your fan cable, and that just plugs in to the fan header, which is on this CPU right over here, this little gray one right there. You can move the cable how, how you want. For now, I'm just gonna leave it like this, and later when this motherboard is inside the case, then I'll worry about actually routing all the cables and stuff. And since this is the Ryzen 7 CPU cooler, I should say, it does come with two separate cables. This one here that says USB on it, you would plug the, the USB part into a USB header on your motherboard. And then the other side would plug in here on the uh, cooler itself, or this one that plugs directly into the 
uh, right here, LED CPU. And so this actually plugs in to this one here and then it would plug in right there. But overall, that's how you would install a CPU and a CPU fan. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.